um, I'm a stay-at-home cereal. I'm a stay-at-home mother of twin demon children who I love. But, you know, they're demons. <laughs> um, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two girls, and I am also a walking, talking dictionary of death. Ooh, that was a bar. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yes, I know a lot about murderers, and what better way to pass our time during this hellish era of humanity, but go on the internet and ruin other people's day by talking about killers. <laughs> so, I, oh Jesus fuck, hopefully, it's fucking stupid, well, I'm just going to keep talking, even though I haven't gotten a notification that I'm live yet, but it's been two minutes, so. Why would I expect a technology to work how I want it to? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was originally going to talk about, uh, Craig Price, the Warwick slasher, but I did not have my usual zest for studying this week. So... Oh, come on, come on, come on. Give me so much XP. Thank you. So, yeah. <clears throat> I was originally going to do a story on uh, one of the youngest serial killers I've ever heard of. Um, I just didn't... I wasn't in the mood, man. It sounds messed up, and I know that this is what I want to do. But, like... I was really tired. <laughs> I feel like garbage. It's just been a shit week. So I decided that I'm not going to do... Ooh, yeah, I won that battle, girl. Mm. So much XP, but not really. Um, hey! What's up, Barbarian? I decided that I'm not going to do my series on... Craig Price that I was going to do. I'm just not in the mood. So I'm going to talk about... Hey! What's going on, John? So I have been seeing a lot of uh, people making up shit <laughs> in uh, true crime stories. Like the... Uh, Liz knows the one I'm thinking of. The one who uh, said that he thought he hit a deer, but they found the... Uh, pedestrian's glasses inside of his car because he hit a guy so hard with his car. His face went through the fucking windshield and then his glasses came off. So I thought we could talk a little bit tonight about something that murderers and serial killers alike try to use all the time to fucking explain away or get away with their shit. And that is mental illness. I can count the number of killers who I think were actually mentally ill and completely not sane during what they were doing. I can count those people on my fucking hand. But the people who pretend that this shit has... Ah... <clears throat> There's some people who try to mimic it to get away with what they're doing. There's some people who I legitimately, like, if you've read about these people, they're nuts. You know they're nuts. Like, but we're going to talk about the guys who I think were truly nuts and talk about the guys who pretended to be nuts because they knew or thought that they were smarter. And in one case... It uh, kind of, kind of was, <laughs> sadly enough. All right, so who do you want to hear about first? Do you want to hear about the real crazies or the guys that were just garbage people and pretended to be crazy to get away with it? 
Uh, and I'm sorry I'm late, but oh Jesus, I had to make a drink and pee. Two things that are very important. All right, I want this campaign. I'm gonna do it. Just like, oh, real crazies. God damn right. That's who I want to talk about. That's always who I want to talk about. Man, I don't think there's anyone crazier than Richard Trenton Chase. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. I don't know if I can defeat these dudes. <sighs> Fuck it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lose, but at least I tried. <laughs> so, Richard Trenton Chase was probably one of the worst, scariest serial killers I've ever heard of. Literally because he was so severely mentally ill that he would just attack people in the middle of the day. You know, some chick's washing her dishes. He just fucking shoots a twenty-two through her window. She feels searing heat go through the bun that's on the top of her head. <laughs> like, dude's walking around in a literal orange puffer jacket. Like... Think of those super puffer jackets that you see at L.L. Bean and then make them the most god-awful pumpkin orange you've ever seen in your fucking life. And that is the coat this dude was walking around in. And he had worn that coat while killing people. So people described it as a very dirty-looking coat that was covered in brown stains. Okay, so people, blood isn't red. <laughs> it's red for a bit. And then it coagulates, and it dries. And what color does blood turn? Brown. So just keep that in mind. Just keep it in mind. It's always better to be, you know, creepy. <laughs> no extra things. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Fucking Christ. I don't even know. I'm bored. I'm bored here. I don't want to fight on that. You know what? Fuck it going to do little fucking stupid quests around who care who cares we're doing it live all right okay i will celebrate my victory thanks um yeah so blood dries brown people okay just remember that that is your mantra now blood dries brown it's never a mannequin and never let them take you to a second location i don't <laughs> i never i don't know what i'm doing I'm always lost. I don't... I knew what I was doing earlier. I did... Ooh, no. I don't want to make you mad. Ooh. Ah, I don't care. I can outrun you. Who gives a shit? Wee, You suck. All right, come on. Yeah, so Richard Trenton Chase basically was a dude that was severely mentally ill. And he had been pretty severely mentally ill, uh... For a long time. Um, he grew up in that era. In like the 60s and the 70s. Where if someone was crazy. You just let them pop off. Every once in a while. And just kept it quiet. <laughs> like you know what I mean. Acted like everything was just totally fine. And that's what his parents did. Like he. He started getting concerned. That like the blood in his body wasn't like it, it was being stolen or there wasn't enough blood in his body. And like he had really intense obsessions and shit. What? What? What did I, this is bullshit. Listen here, Fiona. What should I do? That's always what I'm asking. Oh. Oh my god, why are you so aggressive? Ugh. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Is that a bad guy? Oh, it's a bad guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I knew that was happening. Definitely didn't break my storytelling flow. Jesus fucking cock. I swear to god. All right. So yeah, 
Richard, um, like most kids in the 60s, uh, experimented with acid and weed, except he was really, really into acid. Um, like another killer that we're going to be talking about, who I genuinely believe is still, he's still alive. He's definitely mentally ill. He's fucking nuts. Um, but yeah, so he started like telling his doctor, like, uh, I don't think there's enough blood in my body. I think people are stealing it. I think like he was showing classic signs of schizophrenia and something, you know, I'm, I'm not shitting on drugs. Okay. Weed's awesome. <laughs> so is acid. There's a lot of good, I guess, set people have and fun they have with drugs, but if you are prone to having behavioral issues, mental illness issues, schizoid, anybody who's bipolar, schizophrenia, any, any type of illness like that, oh, for fucking cock, all right, Ugh. anything like that, <laughs> You should stay away from acid. You should stay away from psychedelics in general because they fuck with your neural pathways. And a lot of times actually trigger schizophrenia itself. I know it sounds made up and that's weird to think, but like you can trigger, you can have schizophrenic tendencies and not be schizophrenic, but if you take enough acid and fuck your brain up, it, you can trigger it. So he did a lot of acid, like daily. What is going? Okay, I'm just supposed to defend this garbage hole, I guess. Can you? Oh God, die. But yeah, so basically. Richard started killing cats um, because he couldn't get erections and he thought that he didn't have enough blood in his body. So he started killing cats to drink their blood. And his mom found a bunch of cat bones and shit in the backyard. Did she do anything about it? No. Not so much. Oh, good. More. Oh, Christ. Is this ever going to goddamn end? Natasha slain? I'm still protecting this stupid bee. Oh, good Christ on the cracker. Oh, just end. Oh, Nasho is the one I got to kill. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, boy. There you go. Suck a dick, dude. Suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a dick, suck a dick. Fuck! Hi. You're just tuning in. That's me failing. <laughs> Fuck my cock. All right. So, yeah. Richard Chase, uh... All right, I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose to believe that that was a solitary sad. <laughs> Fuck it fucker. <laughs> so, all right. Richard Chase first earned the nickname vampire, uh, because when he was first admitted for his first severe schizophrenic break, uh, uh, he would kill birds and then drink their blood. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing cause I'm uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> like, like Vlad the Impaler, like little heads, like and they, they fucking, they caught him, and he's covered in blood and feathers. And they're like, Richard, what did you do? He's like, I cut myself shaving. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Oh, come on, somebody boy walker. Ooh, girl! The fuck out of here. Okay. So, yeah. He was killing and eating animals uh, while in an insane asylum, and uh, the doctors there pretty much all concurred heartily that he uh, was pretty schizophrenic and needed intense medications and therapy. And his mom 
said he doesn't need medication and took him home. <laughs> um, so what was really common for his family to do with Richard? Cause you know, there were wasps. That's how they roll. Um, they would go between either putting him in an institution and then taking him out early before he really, like any real good could come of it, I guess. Um, or they got him an apartment and no, I'm not kidding. Did I do something? What did I do? I don't know. God, who cares? Do I even need to be here anymore? Oh no, you're a new guy. Okay. I'm leaving. Ooh, remains. Well, this is a good Friday night. Oh, Jesus. Huh? I made a friend. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Right. Let's go, guys. Oh, no. I don't know where I'm going. Why don't I ever know where I'm going? Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, they went... Get the fuck out of here. Fuck off. They basically went from either putting him in an asylum, taking him out early... Or they got him an apartment. At one point, Richard went to his parents' house, had a fucking freak out, picked up the family cat, and in front of his mother, shot it in the head with a twenty-two, and then wiped the blood all over himself like he was a fucking Indian war paint. Like he, like he was a lost boy. And she... Oh... Okay, well, if my storytelling's that boring, then sorry, all right? No, so, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's just so uncomfortable. They got him an apartment, and they paid for it. And, like, his dad would swing by occasionally to, like, make sure that he wasn't dead. But, like, Richard had, like, rabbits, and, like, he he got blacklisted from, like, Pets, like pet smarts, for all intents and purposes, people who sold animals, because he would he would go to pet stores and like buy a, try to buy a dog like every few days because he was trying to like have blood enough blood to to get a boner like literally. Ooh, wisp of extinction. So, um. I'm not going to go step through step about everything he did. Um, let's just say uh, he was arrested at an Indian reservation because he had killed a cow by hand. And in his fucking car, they found a bucket with a, like, like a liver in it. And he stripped all of his clothes off, covered himself head to toe in blood, and was just naked, sitting on a rock at an Indian reservation and two res cops came up and he's like, you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he fucked up. And he just bolted. And like, and I mean, you gotta think about it. It's the fucking, it's like the seventies. Like they're probably so used to seeing a bunch of fucking <laughs> stoned, drugged out of their mind, white kids. All right. What the fuck? All right. No, I don't want that. I don't want any of this. Ugh. God. All right. Well, maybe I'll... Jesus. Something got... Oh, no, no, no. Don't notice me. No, why did you notice me? Oh, God. All right, whatever. So, yeah. Um, <sighs> Richard, as he bought a, uh, a fucking a gun holster at, like, an Army-Navy store. And he's like, hey, mom, get me a gun. And she's like, no. And he's like, all right. So he just went out and stole one. <laughs> and then he just started, like, driving around. And, you know, just looking for signs in his schizophrenic mind. And uh, he shot and killed Ambrose Griffin in his driveway. His family originally thought that he was having a heart attack. He was not. Um, I believe the next one after that, do not 
ever, ever look up the Vampire Sacramento or Richard Chase's crime scene photos, because they're out there. They're definitely not the worst I've seen, which is a horrible thing to think and say and realize about yourself. But what he did to Teresa Wallen... Um, and her husband found her too. And, uh, he went in there and, uh, she was carrying groceries in and he just shot her and then dragged her body back into the back room. And from about here, maybe right where the rib cage is all the way down to her pubic area, he just cut open and just started tearing away. Um, he got dog feces from the yard and shoved it in her mouth. And then he used uh, yogurt cups from the trash can to collect and drink her blood. And he left her like that for her husband to find. And uh, they discovered that she was six weeks pregnant. So another blow, you know, emotionally for that family... And, um, kind of a fucked up update on that. In Sacramento, there is a haunted house. And, um, they were kind of making, like, the crime scenes and reenacting them a little bit, recreating them. And using that as, like, a incentive to go saying like, oh, these crazy spooky fucking things happened here forever ago. No one will remember, you know. And the dad, her husband, still lives in Sacramento. I know, I know for sure as shit, there's no fucking way he can still live in that. Oh, God, I made a huge mistake. Oh, no. Oh, the large one's going to come after me. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, now fight. Um... So yeah, I thought that that was pretty uh, fucked up. I think that's pretty gross. And I definitely understand why he's pissed. Um, his daughter, who uh, not uh, he didn't have any children with his first wife, Teresa. Um, his daughter, oddly enough, her name is Krista. <laughs> um, she spoke out on her father's behalf and was like, my dad lives a daily nightmare because of what he found that day because of Richard Chase. So like, why the fuck would he want that to be an incentive for people to come to his fucking ghost house and look at a recreated fucking crime scene of this pregnant woman being butchered like a fucking animal. Like it's fucked up. But yeah, so um, then the last crime he committed was his what his worst. Um, he shot uh, and killed basically an entire family, um, and then took the twenty-month-old uh, dead baby with him. Uh, another fun fact about Richard: he had a lot of blenders in his house. For reasons you don't want to know. Um, he left pretty obvious signs that, like, the person who did this is severely mentally ill. And it has to be related to the Wallen case, the Teresa Wallen case, you know. How, how many other people are, you know, like... <sighs> ugh, he... He stabbed the mother over and over again in her anus and uh, then had sex with that. So that's cool. Oh, Jesus. I need to get out of here. What is this fucking garbage planet I'm on? You know what? I hate you all. Fuck. You know what? Suck my dick. There you go. How about that? Fucking take that garbage. So, yeah, um, he took the kid home, 
and basically cracked his head open and ate uh, some stuff. Oh my god. I'm getting the fuck out of here. No? Are they all dead? Hey! They're all dead. Oh, Jesus, there's a giant one. Nope. Don't notice me. Shh, don't notice me. I am one with shadow. No! Oh, God. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going home. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Nah. Nope. Oh, it's all bad. Nope. Oh. Oh. No. Don't. Stop. Leave me alone. I just want to go somewhere, anywhere, but here. <laughs> anywhere but here. Why am I so bad at video games? Okay. So, yeah. Um, basically, the cops, FBI, basically, uh, uh, showed up. I love that John Douglas said that, uh, John Douglas, who was one of the uh, first people that did a Quantico training for, like, criminal psychology, like, basically making a serial killer unit. Um, he said that Richard Chase was, like, the most unnerving most odd, weirdest person that he'd ever, like, been in contact with. Like, he... Uh, Richard Chase was just... He had a, a very high-pitched, soft voice, an intense stare, just dead eyes. Ooh. Just go look up a picture of him. He's scurry. All right, where am I going? What am I doing? Where? I'm here! Meh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. I know what I'm doing. Fuck. Look at this. I have one. One more. I'm always pointing the wrong fucking way. I only have one more. One more follower and I reach my goddamn goal. Sons of bitches. Alright. Here we go. Don't mince words. What are you talking about, man? Uh, do I want to go to Arbios? Yes, I do. Or a boss. Who the fuck ever. Oh my god. So, they caught Richard Chase, obviously, because he committed all of these murders within a two mile radius of his fucking apartment. Like, they literally followed, like, a trail. Because he just dropped his car and then made his way back to his apartment with the dead baby. <laughs> like, somewhere. I don't know. He's got a backpack for that, I guess. Um,. So yeah, they put him in prison, and then I, I think like a year, a year later he killed himself, the day before Christmas or on Christmas Day, I forget. But I do know that his uh, fellow inmates were definitely egging him on. Uh, he didn't get. I, I don't. I don't think they found him insane, even though every single doctor that talked to him was like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh this dude, cray cray." Uh, yeah. I think, just like Albert Fish, like, Albert Fish is another person. I will talk about him one day. I don't want to talk about him tonight. Nobody wants to talk about Albert Fish. He's fucking gross. Albert Fish, I think out of every serial killer I've ever read or talked about, Albert Fish will always be the most unsettling human being I've ever fucking read about or looked at a picture of. And oh, I keep seeing these awesome fucking news articles about Albert Fish, but they're all like 60 bucks. So I need more people to subscribe. <laughs> I, need, I need people to subscribe. Give me like $15 a month and I will put that towards garbage content. <laughs> I have to show you. Ooh, you guys want to see what I have? What I just got? Hee <laughs> hee. Just got it in today. Liz, I don't even think I told you about this one. <sighs> Mass suicide cult in Guyana. 400 swallow poison brew. Jonestown Massacre! What? I was so excited. Which I know makes me weird and gross. I don't care. 
I'm going to put it right next to my Richard Chase. <laughs> Fucking shit. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. It's so stupid, but I love it. I just like having these little pieces of history. And I know that when I die <laughs> and my children go through my fucking rabbit's ratness of old news people, so newspapers, they'll be like, God damn, mom was fucking weird. <laughs> Aunt Liz. <laughs> oh, God. Aunt Liz is just as bad. <laughs> All right. No. Oh. Your fucking breath, bitch. Spark of light, what do I need to do? Uh, I always draw the jailer's eye. I'm a fucking rebel. I cannot help it. <laughs> oh, god damn it. So I have to fucking walk everywhere like a fucking peasant. So, yeah. That's Richard Chase. Again. Absolute. At least we'll die with bomb nails. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch was